Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here with a guide for the mastery challenge at Lollenstone Bandit Camp, The Trial of the Raven. In this walkthrough, you'll see one route to getting a gold medal, which I almost messed up at the very end but was able to recover. For walkthroughs of the other trials, see my playlist linked on screen and in the description below, and subscribe to my channel to get my latest guides and gameplay. And I'm just waiting for this guard to come closer to me so I can do my first air assassination. And here I have an opportunity to do the chain assassination. That's the one where Eivor throws the ax at the other guard, but I don't because I want to get another air assassination on this guard. And as long as Eivor jumps even a little bit, it counts as an air assassination. You don't have to be high above the enemy that you're assassinating. And there's my first ledge assassination. You need four ledge assassinations and 11 air assassinations to get the gold medal in this trial. And here again, after air assassinating this guard, I'll have the opportunity for the chain assassination, which I will skip so I can go around and get my second ledge assassination on this other guard. And I really like how this challenge starts out almost with a warm-up area where you can get a couple easy air assassinations, a couple easy ledge assassinations before moving on to the more difficult parts of this mission. Now I'm going to use this tree to climb over to the courtyard, but I'm going to continue past into the second courtyard. I found it easier to do that section first, but if you want to do this section first, you could as well. Going over to the second courtyard, I'm going to stay on the tree so I can air assassinate this guard on the platform. And then I also want to do air assassinations on these two guards that are currently talking to each other. But I want to wait until they separate and are as far from each other as possible before I air assassinate the one to Eivor's right. And then after that, I'm going to climb quickly up to the platform and then air assassinate this other guard and do a crazy chain assassination into the other courtyard. Look at how far that ax goes. That won't always work, but if it doesn't, you can still kill that guard using a chain assassination after killing this other guard on the left that I'm gonna kill right now. So I'm gonna do an air assassination on this guard to Eivor's left. And if the guard in the middle is still alive, you can do a chain assassination to take out him as well. And there are two more guards on the ground. I'm gonna do air assassination on this one and then climb back up the stairs so I can do another air assassination on the other guard. I'll actually end this run with more air assassinations than I need, but I like to get them where I can in case I miss one later on in the trial. Collecting the artifacts. In this one, I collect the artifacts as I go along. Although if you wanted to wait till the end to collect them all, you could also do that as well. And now when I go into this building, I'm going to climb up and around the wall to that platform where there's the other artifact. And if you don't use this approach, you'll need to move the shelves to the ladder since you can't actually climb up that ladder. It is too far off the ground. And again, I'm skipping the chain assassination after that air assassination. And there are, I didn't mean to fall there, just kind of, <laughs> I want to get into that little 
window or doorway there. And I want to jump to that platform that's suspended in the middle of the room so I can do another air assassination on this guard to the left. And I'm done with my air assassination. So I don't need to do any more air assassinations, although I find it's just as easy to kill this guard using the air assassination. So I'm going to use it on him as well. And now I'm actually going to go back around and retrace my steps and go to the first courtyard and kill the guards and collect the artifacts there. So again, you could do this in the opposite order if you wanted. You could do the first courtyard, then the second one, but I'm going to come back here now. So I'm going to go to that center pillar and then go across, across the tree and then the ropes to collect the artifact that is all the way in the room to the back of this building. And it's being held by this statue, which reminds me of collecting the Roman artifacts during the main campaign. And now another air assassination. And I'm going to use chain assassination here because I don't need another air assassination. And the reason there's a smoke bomb right there is the rune equipped on your bow is going to deploy a smoke bomb on kills when Eivor is outnumbered. And since there's a few guards around, Eivor is outnumbered. And for some reason, the chain assassination, the second one there, counts as a kill. The normal assassination doesn't. Now I'm going to climb around and do the same thing on the other side. Do an air assassination and then chain assassination to get the second guard. Although you'll notice there was no smoke bomb on this one because Eivor is no longer outnumbered. All the guards in this area are dead. But if you needed another air assassination here, you could also jump on that block to the right of the arrows and jump off the block to the enemy. Grab the arrows, collect the artifact. There is one artifact left. It is up in that room at the top of this building here. But before I go up there, I'm going to do my final two ledge assassinations on these two guards. There's one. And right as I'm about to do the second one, somehow this guard just falls down. I don't actually know what happens here, but I'm about to do my final ledge assassination and the guard just like falls on the ground. And when he stands up, he's too far from the ledge for me to do the ledge assassination. So here I thought I was done because I need one more ledge assassination to get the gold. But then I remembered the guard at the top is near a ledge. So I'm going to assassinate him. And then there's one more guard at the top near the room with the last artifact I need to collect. I'm going to climb up there. And I usually would kill him with an air assassination by jumping onto the roof of the building and then air assassinating him that way. But since I'm trying to do the ledge assassination here, I'm going to climb around. And I didn't know if it was going to work, but it somehow works that I'm able to do a ledge assassination on this last guard and complete the ledge assassinations I needed for the gold. And then finally, I just need to get the last artifact, break the oil jar to explode the trap door at the floor of that room, but the door is barred, so you need to go around and climb up through the hole 
that you just blasted in the floor of that upper room. And since I have not only completed all my air assassinations, ledge assassinations, but managed to stay undetected for the entire run, I will get a gold medal. And a perfect score of 1,000 for Lollenstone Trial of the Raven. This is Amber. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more guides and gameplay.